his, was it his cousin? I don't know who it was. It was somebody who's not shouldn't have been doing that. I get it. Boys will be boys, but no. Okay, but here's the point. Yeah, but that it was like they were like held. young boys just being pervy. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the thing. That's I I kind of dismissed it Sussy as that. Like, kind of thing. but you, they used it. They held it as mm-hmm. blackmail against yes. him, and they released it. When he yes. came, that's that's the point I want to get to. This is I think there's something like that on on uh, Marjorie Taylor Green. I, I do. I, I know that Marjorie Taylor Green uh, recently got divorced. Mm-hmm. I know that. Marjorie Taylor Greene um, is reported to have dated many people. Um, Interesting. You know, that's, that's her prerogative as long as she's not sleeping with And them. she was running yeah. around on her husband, so mm-hmm. it means that they could have been in a public place. They could have been every, anywhere where people could have seen them. Well, they, there's reports that they were swingers. Okay. Right? And that's, that's D.C. Okay, that's why we don't live there. That place is a... Some scintillating political talk coming from these two. Over on Crosstalk News, Lauren Witzke, you guys heard and seen before on the show, and Edward Zoll, I believe is the right way to pronounce his name. They're talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene and how dare she put her nose in this whole business. Didn't she have an affair? Wasn't she cheating on her husband? Wasn't there a divorce? Aren't there swingers? Man, just toss it all out there. This is the kind of conservative mudslinging that I'm used to seeing, which is why it was a little bit odd to see a couple points being made in our last talk about this battle over uh, over uh, Kevin McCarthy. Well, let's see more because uh, there was a there was one guy who got ousted out of Congress for s- making similar claims. Maybe Madison was right. What? I heard a former president that we had in the '90s was asked the question about this. And he gave an answer that I thought was so true. And he said, the only thing that's not accurate in that show is that you could never get a piece of legislation about uh, about education passed that quickly. And that's, everything else is good. Aside <laughs> from that, I mean, the sexual wow. perversion that goes on in Washington, I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington, the average age is probably 60 or 70. And I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to like, well, hey, we're gonna have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what? What did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy, yeah. uh, or, or the fact that you know there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you, and it's like, wow, this is this is wild. You know, uh, every orgy you get invited to, it's you want to come to a sexual excursion with us at my home. That's how it works for uh, uh, maybe Cawthon was right. He's been booted out because Republicans couldn't uh, take any more of that talk. But Edward and Lauren, they did continue their talk more about the McCarthy stuff. Let's watch them. But here's my point. All these uh, elected officials have something hiding in the background. Like Jim Jordan. I've always had questions if there's any connection to Sandusky. All right, and that's that's one of those things you don't explore, right? Because they're on our team, but are they really on our team? And that's where we're going today. Is in regard to the speakership, uh, Kevin McCarthy needs 218 votes to become the next speaker of the House. He doesn't have it right now. There is uh, there is a coalition of about 20 Republican legislators who are going to block this, and there's not a big enough majority for the Republicans to overcome this. So there has to be some negotiation. I hate that though, because what does that mean that some of our guys get chairmanships and then? Kevin McCarthy gets to stay in. Kevin McCarthy literally is the reason why we have the J6 commission. Right. He literally let the election be stolen. And uh, again, this man, other than sleeping with every female that's been elected into the House, Kevin McCarthy has single-handedly overseen the diminishment, the reversals on family values, on sanctity, on morality. The sexual prowess of these Republicans is off the charts. In fact, Ali Alexander said this about uh, Lauren Boebert. Marjorie Taylor Greene is now attacking Representative Lauren Boebert like a trailer park hood. I'm sorry, he's going after Marge like a trailer park hood rat. Ali Alexander, a time traveler, and one of the organizers of the Stop the Steal rally, as we've seen before. It's getting nasty, John. But actually, is any of this going to work? Is it swaying any votes? <laughs> I do, I don't know if it's intended to sway votes. I think that there, <laughs> it's just. This is just sex talk that's like themed around politics. This is just. <laughs> Is this is like the commentary around the Real Housewives, except they occasionally say the word Bobert. That's all that this is. Can we put up a shot of their their show, by the way? Yeah. Because although I disagree with their their ethics, and it, it is hard to broadcast from a kayak, and so that will probably <laughs> be distracting to you. I acknowledge that. It's rough water. Um, I understand that everyone thinks that like, oh, tyt, you, you do whatever you want, to say whatever. You're not journalists. We don't do whatever that is. I want to be clear about that. We don't just baselessly speculate about affairs and 
him saying, "Oh, everybody knows that she goes out on all these dates, and that's fine as long as she doesn't sleep with people." That's where you're drawing the line. You're baselessly inventing a fair, and I'm not saying that she doesn't. But I also don't necessarily care. I think it's one of the most irrelevant things about her to say that Kevin McCarthy has slept with every single Republican woman <laughs> in Congress. First of all, how does he have the stamina? But second of all, that is that is smearing. It's got to be dozens. I mean, it is the GOP, but it's 39 Republican Congresswomen, Man. implying that every single one of them has slept. What we just saw is insanity, and it actually makes Fox News seem kind of ethical by comparison. I guess they're trying to get their voice in the 30. You said 39 potential, um, I guess. 39. A sexual partners for Kevin McCarthy, man. Maybe he should tell everyone that. Maybe he can get his job as a speaker because you know those uh, those uh, libs and all of their sexual freedoms and everything. <laughs> as long as he lets everyone know who he's screwing, maybe then they'll vote his ass in. That's that's the way these things work in Congress. Those immoral leftists and how they go through. Uh, again, I almost can't wait for this uh, vote to happen. It just keeps building. The drama builds. I think it's January third, beginning of the year, when they all come back. We're gonna figure out who's gonna be the speaker there. Um, We'll see how much this sways everything. I, I I wanna see what Kevin McCarthy has to say. And if he doesn't, uh, or if something gets all tied up and things get worse for them because of their infighting, popcorn is always ready.